Worldwide impacts from health scares and terrorist threats can turn our economy sideways very quickly. Local business leaders talked about this over breakfast this morning. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary was there. And John, so far the economy is holding up pretty well. Yeah, it's amazing. As a matter of fact, even with some terrorist concerns worldwide, a war, the Ebola concerns, our economy continues to grow. But there's serious concerns about an economic setback and what we can do to prevent it. The stock market is up, gas prices are down, we have a serious health concern with Ebola and a military battle going on against the ISIS terrorist group. All this chaos could prove ultimately to be a catalyst for softening of our economy. The Santa Barbara Executive Roundtable talked about world issues and in some cases chaos to see if it will have an impact on what appears to be an improving economy. If anything, we see housing sector, which has not really participated much in the economic expansion, kick in. Despite the negatives, the business, financial, and real estate experts saw positives. The economy is growing, and the housing industry is rebounding from the big slump of 2007. How lucky we are that we have um, the baby boomers who seem to have uh, a lot of wealth right now wanting to come to Santa Barbara, so we have an advantage. Even with big concerns worldwide, the diverse U.S. economy remains resilient. And right now, government is just starting to recover, and we're seeing more government employment, we're seeing more expenditures, we're seeing the California budget really recover. I think it's the private sector that's really driven the economic cycle this time around. And economists are also saying if the European economy should rebound sometime soon, that will be good for the U.S. economy as well. In Santa Barbara, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right.